Hi everyone, my name's Tommy and welcome to Project 3 for CS50's Web Programming with Python and JavaScript course. And this is Pinocchio's Pizza. Uh, I'm just going to go through all the requirements listed out in the spec and I'll go through each one and tell you how I implemented them. So this is the index page for Pinocchio's Pizza. As you can see, all of the menu items from the original Pinocchio's Pizza website are on there. And at the top, I've implemented a, a filtering system just to make it easier for customers to pick and choose what they want. So for adding items to the menu, I'm on the Django admin interface. I'm just going to click on salads, add a salad. We'll say chicken price is 10 and we'll save. As you can see, it's been added to the database. If I refresh the menu and I click on salad, you'll see it here, chicken salad. There's no image. I've not uploaded any images for a chicken salad, but it's there. And if I delete the salad, and go back, you'll see it's no longer there. So next is registration, login, and logout. If I click on register, username, I'll type in YouTube, first name, YouTube, email, password, and confirm the password. Click register, account created for YouTube. And if I log in, we are successfully logged in as YouTube. And you can see at the top, the nav bar has changed to the cart and log out. So I click log out, takes you back to the login page. I will quickly log back in. Okay, so that is registering, logging in, and logging out. Um, so once logged in, you'll see the same page as before, only this time you'll be able to add items to your cart and customize pizza and the subs. So if I wanted three toppings pizza, I can click between regular or Sicilian. Subs, same, choose your size, small or large. So if I click on three toppings, Sicilian, click customize, it takes me to a page where I can select the size and the toppings of the pizza. If I go large, you'll see the price updates at the bottom. Let's just click three toppings, probably never going to taste good together. If I click add to basket, it'll take me back to the index page and you can see the counter has gone up. I now have one item in my cart. So if I click on the cart, it tells me my cart, large cilium, three toppings pizza, and the three toppings, the total price, and I can place the order. If I go back, so if I wanted chicken, pasta, add to cart, and you can see that it's gone up again. Click on it again, price has been updated, and the two items are in my cart. So if I place the order, it takes me back to the page. And if I go back onto the cart, it tells me my order, my previous orders, which was three toppings pizza and the chicken pasta for the price. And it's in progress. So what does that mean? If I log out and log into the admin account, On an admin account, I have this orders link and it tells me all the orders that are waiting to be completed. So at the bottom here, YouTube, three toppings pizza and chicken pasta. I click complete. It removes it. And if I log back into the YouTube account, 
go back onto the car and it's complete. So the personal touches, that was one of them allowing admins to mark orders as complete and allowing the users to see the status of their order. Also, what I have implemented, let's see if I add a few more items to my cart. If I click the X, it removes the item from the cart. And I think that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.